giving God the first preference in all of life's actions. This is the meaning of this one. That is every action you want to take, God is first. For example, you woke up in the morning. You don't want to talk to man until you have talked to God. That's seek God first. And it can be practical. My wife is aware. There are times she's coming to greet me, I can't respond. And she understands that I love God more than me. So I love God more than anybody. And she too loves God more than me. I can't interrupt with her prayer life. I can't say I'm your husband. Stand up from prayer. Who, which me? Are you Nebuchadnezzar husband? Then God will send you to the bush. Somebody say amen. That is, I don't want to talk to man until I have talked to God. These days of social media is destroying people's lives. People wake up, they rush for their phone. What message? And some of them are rubbish, useless message. That is adding nothing to your life. Apart from divine intervention, when was the last time you pick up your phone and then a message on this spot gave you one billion? Say, how are you? I just called to say, in fact, some of some are annoying texts that you woke up annoyed from the morning because the first thing you saw was an annoying message. The day has been set. That is, you made up your mind. I won't talk to man until I've talked to God. My children were coming from somewhere the other day and it was time to eat after the fast. Won't you eat? He said, no. I'm not able to eat. now. I can't even break the fast now. Because I haven't studied the Bible the way I want yet. That's one telling the other. I, I, I can't even break the fast now. I feel guilty to eat now. Since I haven't eaten the Bible enough. Do you understand what I'm saying? Job said, I have esteemed the words of your mouth more than my necessary food. See, that is Job 23 and in verse 12. More than my necessary. That is, God is priority. 